All right, I've got Troy Slattery here at the Modern Day Legends event. How are you, Slats? Good, Chaps. How are you, mate? Uh, pretty good, mate. You never miss an event like this, but what does the spa mean to you, mate? Mate, Spa is just a great organisation which combines uh, you know, the, the modern players with the, the older day players from the past and connections there. And it's always you know, been burning bright and hopefully keep that going in the future. Uh, and the era that you played, mate, tell us a bit about that, mate. The, the era that I played was pretty tough, it was the 90s. Um, there weren't many wins, but we are probably pretty much real we close-knit um, club then, back then, even though there was, there was financial struggles and probably roster struggles as well, but mate, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed my time at Seahouse and I still love the place, you know. And you must be happy where the club's head at the moment, not oh, only on the field but off the field? Yeah, 100%, you know, the club are a powerhouse now, so there's no doubt in that whatsoever, just, I think everyone expects a lot from them, but, um, you know, it's just, they're still rugby league players and it's hard out there, it's very tough, it's not easy, just to maintain the, the the, uh, the level they, they play at, so, yeah. And Slats, can I just jump in? We're honouring um, Sam, G.I. and John today. Yeah. Now, you had a bit to do with Sam and how he came to the club. Yeah, I was mates with Sam before he actually came to see us. Um, uh, I played in England with the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats and with a friend of his, Chris Fever, and um, Chris would come out after I played in England and he'd stay at my house and he brought Sam one year and Sam loved the place. He just wanted to come back to Australia. And yeah, we just kept in contact and I suppose that was the connection with South. Sydney had was with me. And and then a few years later he signed and bring me up and said I'm signed to the house and said, mate, good on you, go ahead, you know. And your uh, opinion on Sam, mate, um, his legacy that he's left on this club? Yeah, well, he's a great player. Look, he's always always wears his heart in his sleeve and not only as a, as a player, he's a good role model for the kids that were coming through, the players that were coming through, the fans. He just, you know, he epitomised the club, what he's done for it, you know. And a junior like John Sutton to play the 336 games for the club, you're a junior yourself, um, John's contribution? Oh, John's contribution, uh, yeah, yeah, unmatched, you know, like, you know, he's, he's a great junior. Um, he's, he's a shy fella, but, mate, he's, he's such a good clubman. He Leads play, with his actions. Yeah, exactly. He played well in all those years. Like you never really seen him play a bad game. He was always consistent. All the games he played, he, you know, he put in 100. percent And Shannon spoke about some of the achievements of the great Greg Inglis, mate. Um, he's not just a South legend. He's an all-time rugby league legend, mate. Yeah, well, Greg's you know, natural ability, you know, you can't beat that. And some of the, the clips they put up on the screen and of him, the tries he scored, mate. You just just remember way back how, how good they were, you know. You actually forget how good they were, you know. Uh, he's a legend, you know. And what about what about this season, 2022? The the boys can go a long way, do you think? Yeah, I think so. We'll you know we'll, we'll be in the finals. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be in the finals, and you know we'll give it a crack. So you never say never. Uh, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks, guys. Thanks to you.